All right, Stug here. We're going to learn how to factor out the GCF. You're going to need to be able to do this pretty much the rest of your math life. Here we go. Got 5x plus 10. I can see it a mile away. 5 goes into each of these terms, so you pull out the 5, and then what's left over? Well, 5 times what gives me 5x, x, and then 5 times what gives me 10 plus 2. You want to just double check, 5x plus 10, bingo. Over here, ooh, this one looks rough. There's three terms, so now you need a factor and or a letter that goes into all three terms. So three is the only thing I can see. So I pull out that three, bigger parentheses, because I got a lot more going on. Three times what is six X? Two X. Three times what is 15 Y? Plus five Y. Three times what is three? One. You gotta put the one there. I'm gonna double check in my head. Six X plus 15 Y, bingo. Down here, okay, I notice each term has an X in it, but each term does not have a Y, so I can't pull out the Y, but I can pull out the X. And then how about the numbers? Eight, four is the biggest number that goes into all those. So I take out four, but I could also take out the X. Big parentheses, okay, four X times what gives me that? Well, four times two is eight. I need one more X to get the X squared, and then I need the Y. Let's just double check. 8x squared, so you get 4 times 8, x times x, bingo. How about over here, plus 4, that's all we need, because 4x times 4 is 16x. What's missing here, we got the 4, we got the x, all that's missing is the y. So we pulled out the greatest common factor there. Last one, okay, both terms have a 3, and both terms have an x, so that means I could pull out 3x. Now, 3x times what? I'm missing an x. Let's make sure. 3x times x. Yep, x times x, x squared. Got it. And then minus, because 3 times what is negative 12 minus 4. 3x times 4 is negative 12x. We did it. We're done. That, my friends, is how you factor out the GCF.